Hey guys, for all the details on this deep wave unit with 4C edges from Love Me Hair, keep watching. My rules, big moves. Y'all heavy on the tweeting. I disappear a whole season like, who said they looking for me? I'm gonna make you wait for it. Spend a few racks on a shopping spree. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie. If you are new here, welcome. We are getting into another wig review. So this unit was actually sent to me from Love Me Hair. It is their Deep Wave 4C Edges unit, and it's a closure. I'm gonna get to this in just a moment, but if you are new to my channel, please do me a huge favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell and set it to all so you do not miss a thing on my channel. So how this video is gonna go, I am going to show you my unboxing, everything that came with this unit, um, what this unit looked like just straight out the box. Um, and then also I'm gonna show you my co-washing process, my curl defining process. If you have been tuning into my recent curly hair unit videos, then you've seen my curly hair routine, but this one is gonna be slightly different. And I'm gonna come back to do my install and pros and cons on this unit. So you know what to do, keep watching. All right guys, here is the box that the unit came in. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. So first we have a thank you letter and here is the unit. I'll show you that in just a moment. Also this purple and gold mesh bag with the drawstring top to store the unit, extra convenient. Also this iridescent bag that says love me hair and inside this bag is a leopard elastic band with the Velcro. For those units that you do spray or glue down to help melt that lace. Also in the bag is a edge brush, a pack of wood caps, and here is a bonnet. So this purple bonnet that is reversible. So it's like that royal purple on the outside and this light purple in the inside, but you can flip it inside out. Also a user guide to show how to care for the hair. So now let's go ahead and take a look at this unit. So I'm just taking the netting and the paper off of it and look at this beautiful deep wave curl pattern with the 4C edges and just giving you all a close up on this hairline and this closure. This is a five by five closure. It comes with a left side C part. However, it is a free part enclosure. Two comes in the front, one in the middle, one in the back. Also the elastic band and the adjustable straps. This unit is 12 inches long, 100% virgin hair, 150% density, and the color is natural black. So now let's go ahead and co-wash this unit. So I'm just getting this unit completely wet with just water right now, making sure that every strand of hair is wet. Co-washing a unit is a good idea to get out any kind of unwanted smells, to get out any kind of kinks and tangles, any shedding, as well as getting the unit prepped to define the curls. So I'm just taking some Aussie Miracle Moist Conditioner and putting that all over the unit, make sure to try to avoid the lace. So just running my fingers through the units with the conditioner, making sure that all of the strands are covered in conditioner. Now I am taking my detangling brush and just combing through the unit from root to tip, making sure to get out all kinds of kinks and tangles and paying attention to those kinky edges as well. Also, I do wanna note that this unit only comes in 12 inches long, no other lengths and it's $189.90. But of course I have you covered with a promo code, which is SNH25, which will give you 25% off. So as you can see, had a nice amount of shedding with this unit. So after about 10 minutes of letting that conditioner sit on the unit, I am now rinsing it out with cool water. Make sure to get all of that conditioner out of the hair so that the hair is fresh and clean and ready to define the curls. So now that I have all the conditioner out, I am just wringing the unit dry. So now we are ready to go ahead and define these curls. So here is the unit. I have her on my mannequin head and I am just going to take my flat brush and just give a quick comb through to get out any kind of kinks and tangles again. Now I'm going to turn the unit around and start working in the back of the hair. So as always, I'm separating out the back portion of the hair and working in layers and clipping the rest out of the way. Since the curls on this unit are pretty loose, I am going to use my fingers to define the curls. So as always, I'm applying some Lotta Body hair foam to the hair and then just raking my fingers through the hair to clump the hairs together. So no brush or comb or anything, 
just using what God gave me, my own hands, and just raking my fingers through the hair. I am working my way up the back portion of the hair. So again, just taking down layers and applying some of that lot of body directly to the hair and then just combing through with my fingers to clump the hairs together. As you can see, the hair is like curling up in little spiral curls, which I absolutely love. As you all know, I love prepping my units prior to installing. I just don't like the feeling of wet hair on my head. So I try to do as much as possible before actually installing the unit on my head. So that's why I define the curls, cut off the lace, do all of that work prior to installing. So after I'm finished with the back portion of the hair, I am going to move over to the side of the unit. Now, even though this unit is a freestyle parting closure, I am still gonna leave it on that left side part with the C part. So same process on the sides of the hair, just taking down layers, applying some of that lot of body and just finger combing the hair. And now moving over to the other side to do the exact same process on the other side, taking down layers, applying some lot of body, and then finger combing the hair to clump the hairs together. For a tighter curl pattern, I do use my flat brush to define the curls, but since these curls are looser, I decided to just use my fingers only. I'm gonna go ahead and finish defining the curls on this unit and then I will be back to work on these edges. Now that all the curls are defined, I'm gonna take a little bit more of the lot of body, applying that directly to those 4C kinky edges and just brushing those back with an edge brush. And now it's time to cut off this lace. So I'm just clipping the hair back out of the way and then taking my pinking shears and cutting the lace off as close to the hairline as possible. Just cutting in a straight line because with these shears, it's automatically cutting in a zigzag motion. And now this unit is prepped and ready to go. So I'm just gonna let her air dry overnight. Okay, so I'm gonna start by putting the elastic bands around the back of my head. And now installing this back comb in the back of my hair. And I'm also going to install the front combs as well, just for some extra security. All right, so here is what we are looking like. So it has these 4C edges. I'll push it back just a little bit. So as you can see, these edges here, so my hairline the unit my hairline the unit my hairline the unit so just a little thicker than my actual hairline um but yes this is what we are looking like right now so let me give you all a close-up of these curls so as you saw in my curl defining process i did it just a little bit different i just raked my fingers through the curls instead of using like a, a brush or anything. Usually I use my flat brush, but I decided to opt out of that. So I'm trying to think if I need to do anything to this parting line. I think I'm gonna put just a tiny bit of powder. This is Maybelline Fit Me in the color 330. Um, um, what is this, toffee? Yeah, toffee caramel. And just with an angle brush, I'm just going to put some powder just right here in the parting line. If it even makes a difference. All right, 
that is all I'm gonna do. So let me just go ahead and turn around so I can show you all angles of this unit. So side, back, close up of these curls. Just look at the curls. All right, side again, and front. And just a close up on this hairline. All right, let's get into the pros and cons. So pro number one for me is always going to be the curl pattern. I love a curly unit. You all probably know that by now. I try to stay away from the straighter textures, but anything like with a curl pattern, jerry curly, um, kinky curly, um, this deep wave curly, I absolutely love curls and the way they look on my face and my face shape and I just love the length as well. So this unit is 12 inches long. I love anything the shoulder length or shorter than that. It just seems to fit me very, very well. And um, I just cannot get over the curls and how easy they were to accomplish just with using my own fingers, my own personal tools, did not have to use a comb or a brush or anything like that and was able to achieve these beautiful luscious curls. And some of them have like these little ringlets at the end, if I can. Super duper cute, love it. So 100% virgin hair is always a plus. You can wash it, you can dye it, you can straighten it, you can do whatever you want to this unit because it is virgin hair. I kind of wish this one would come in like a highlighted color. I think this will look super duper pretty in a like mixture between 1B, 4, and 30. So love me here, just keep that in mind. Love this texture, this curl pattern but in a lighter color would just look super duper pretty. But it is virgin hair, so if you wanted to lighten it and dye it and highlight it yourself, you are more than welcome to do so. 150% um, density, it's enough hair on this unit. It is a lot of hair on this unit. Um, yeah, it doesn't need to be anything more than what it is. 150% is definitely enough on this unit. Um, the kinky edges, so we don't have to do any kind of swoops or baby hairs or anything. We are rocking natural hairlines in the year 2023, and I just love that. I love that this type of unit is getting so popular because I have never been the type to do my baby hairs or anything like that. So this is just right up my alley. I'm gonna give you all a close up again. And I did not even pluck these edges at all. Um, it just seemed like the right amount of hair around the hairline. So A plus there. Now this unit did not say on the website, but it definitely looks like the knots were bleached on this unit and the hairline pre-plucked because I did not have to do it myself. And it looks flawless and natural. So. I'm trying to think if there's any negatives on this unit. Now there was quite a bit of shedding with the co-washing process, but that's to be expected. You're just getting rid of all of that extra hair, just coming straight out of the box, but fret not because once you get it out of the way with that initial co-washing process, you really should not have to worry about a ton of shedding down the line. Especially with curly units, you're not constantly combing them and running your fingers through them curling it with a curling iron or anything like that. So you don't really have to worry about a ton of shedding with curly units while you are wearing them for sure. Um, so I'm not really seeing any negatives. Let me just touch on the cap size really quickly. So this unit does have a larger cap size. Um, I have a ton of room right here in the back. Now the ear tabs fall exactly where I need them to fall, but there is a lot of space here in the back. So if you do have a lot of hair or a larger head size, I my head is kind of smaller than the average, I think. So this unit is a little big on me. Now the elastic band is adjustable, so that is really my saving grace right now. And I have the adjustable straps on the tightest um, loop, but it's just a little bit of gappage back here, but not to worry. You can't even see it. You don't have to worry about it. Um, this unit is super secure on my head. I have the back comb installed as well as these front combs, um, here, elastic band, adjustable straps. This unit is not going anywhere. So, um, all positives here, no negatives. I'm in love with this look. I love the curls, the length, 
the texture, all of the above, and the price is pretty reasonable as well. So $189.90, plus I have a promo code for you, which is SNH25, will get you 25% off your order. So any order that you order off Love Me Hair, even if it's not this unit specifically, anything that you pick out on Love Me Hair, you get 25% off using my code. So just keep that in mind. But that's it for this review. I'm going to put everything down in the description box, a link to Love Me Hair, a link to this specific unit, as well as my promo code, but you already heard that, SNH25. Go ahead and jot that down. But that's it. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And as always, I'll see you all next time.